So we're gonna go ahead and record. So yay, bootcamp. Um, super excited to talk graphics with you guys. Um, please know I have mentioned to the gals that were on the um, Sunday call that this might be long. Um, I am kind of going to, I'm gonna cover a lot because I wanted to show you guys ways to do it on a computer, um, but also on a phone. I wanted to show you guys some of the different apps that are available to you guys, but then I also wanted to talk a little bit about like the, the actual visual composition of graphics because it's one thing to know how to make them and it's another thing to make sure that they actually look good. <laughs> so um, we're gonna kind of cover a little bit of everything. Um, also too, I feel like this potentially could get a little bit overwhelming. So please just keep in mind, as in pure Lucy form, I am going to show you all of the things. It does not mean that you have to do all of the things and this will be here for you to go back to, to you know, watch again. Um, but I feel I'm, I'm an advocate for the more information you have, you can figure out what works for you, but I would definitely not turn around and install 500 graphic apps and you know kind of try to do all of the things um so just kind of pick pick the one that that feels good to you and you can kind of come back to it um so just keep keep that in mind so um i am going to screen share um for a fair amount of this um just because then you can kind of see me do things um but i do have a few kind of quick um quick tips for you guys. So um, two tools that I think everyone absolutely needs to know, because everyone's always like, where do you get your graphics? Well, you guys, if I didn't oh, make them, Google should be your best friend. Like, I, and I, I'm serious, I Google so much of this stuff. So a lot of my graphics come from Google or Pinterest. Um, all right, let me, and if you're not, finding what it is that you're wanting to find, change up your, change up your Google search. Like, um, you might want like pure romance business opportunity, right? Is might turn up something different. And then you click on images and there's some really, really cute ones, right? So I love that you can literally just Google stuff, but if you're like, you know what, I'm really not seeing what I want. Try pure romance. Join me. Oh, look, there's a cool other, you know, different ones. And then you could try join my team. So don't just Google one thing and feel like, you know, it's, it's just going to be there. Um, so Google is a huge resource, you guys, for different documents. Like I said, same with Pinterest. So make sure that you're Googling. Um, now on a computer, one of the like life changing things that I learned how to do is something called snip and sketch. So this comes in handy, like with, with these graphics, right? You can right click them and you can save the image, but sometimes you can't save it. Um, or maybe you are, let's see, uh, maybe you're on a website or you want to show something to somebody and you need to almost take a picture of what you're looking at. Um, let's see. Like, let's say I have a customer that's interested in coochie cream, the flip book's not working, and I'm like, God, I need to send her some information. So you go to whatever you want, and then in your little toolbar, so you guys know like the Windows, right, has a little toolbar. You type in, it's called Snip and Sketch, and it's an app, and it looks like this little icon down here at the bottom. And when you open it, this comes on all Windows computers. And you just hit new. And then your screen is gonna go gray. And then you literally just highlight the area and it turns it into a picture. And then you can save this or you can copy and paste it straight to a customer. Whoa, God, did I just glitch hardcore for everybody or was that just on my end? Okay, gonna okay. Am I good, Jackie? Yeah, you're good. Okay, okay. So Snip and Sketch, you guys, saves my life. I do a ton of stuff with Snip and Sketch. So it's just a silly little tool. It's kind of the equivalent of taking a screenshot on your phone. So you should know if you're doing stuff on a computer, how to take a screenshot. Um, or how to take a snip and sketch. And then on your phone, I do a lot of stuff via screenshots and then you can just crop it. 
So those were kind of two random tools that I use all of the time when I'm doing graphics, making graphics, looking for a graphic, um, can't find what I need. So that snip and sketch is a huge one. Um, another thing that I would suggest doing is just going to Google um, and typing in like backgrounds. Um, there is so many different pretty backgrounds that you guys can say, oh my God, there's a freaking Tiger King one. <laughs> Fun backgrounds for Zoom meetings. <laughs> that is so awesome. Oh my, oh my God, God, that is hilarious. Okay, so that's going to be my next Zoom meeting background. Um, but when you guys type this in, there's lots of free ones. You guys can also type in like square backgrounds. But what I would do is on your phone, save them into an album on your phone and on a computer, save them in a folder on your phone. So then you always have some cute different kind of go-to backgrounds that you can use. Like this one, this one's perfect, right? Because you could use this image for anything. You could put any text on there that you wanted to. You could use anything that you wanted to use. So I'm actually going to use this one as my example. So I'm going to send that to myself in a Facebook message. I Facebook message stuff to myself all of the time, just as a ugh, really, I don't want other people. My computer is crazy slow today. But that way, that's how I get stuff from my computer onto my phone. It makes it super easy. So I'm going to send that to myself. And I want to show you guys the very first app. So the first app, let me stop screen sharing here for a second. I'm going to drop it in the chat. It's called Fonto. Okay. So Fonto is incredibly easy for y'all to use. Um, and it's great because all it does is add images um, to, or sorry, add text to an image. So let me go ahead and I'm going to screen share. I'm actually going to screen share my phone with you guys. Hey, question for you, Lucy. Yes. Um, I use Fonto on my phone. Can you use it on a computer? No, I don't believe okay. so. Okay. Yep, I don't believe so. So I can show you guys how to add text to things on a computer also, um, at least the easiest way that I know how. Also, you guys, you should probably know that there's some things that I probably do the hard way um, because it's just how I know how to do it and it's what's easy for me. So if you know an easier way to do it, drop it in the boot camp event for everybody. Like more than happy to learn kind of side side things. So can you guys all see my phone screen? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So in your apps, after it's installed, it's the little P with the little pencil on there. So, but before I go do that, let me go into my Facebook and grab that image that I just sent to myself. And I'm going to hit the little more button down at the bottom and I'm just going to hit save. So I got it off of my got it off of my computer, onto my phone, go into my apps and go into Fonto. And this is, this is what it looks like. Like it's the, it's the lamest looking app on the planet, but that's what makes it so easy to use. Up in the top left corner, right corner, sorry, top right corner, there's a little picture. So you just click that and we're gonna load a new image. There's our picture. So we're gonna click on that guy. And then you'll notice up at the top, there's a little pencil. So we are gonna write like, I don't even know. Um, join my team. Killer kit sale happening now. And then you have the option of changing the alignment so you can center it. You can also change the font by clicking font and there's all sorts of gazillions of different fonts that are there for you. You can also favorite some of them. So then they'll show up in your favorite. So if you have ones that you use all the time, you can favorite them, which is great. We're gonna hit done. You'll notice that it's really, really long. So I'm gonna go back to it and I'm gonna hit text. And I'm gonna just add a space that way it fits. And then you can change the size just by dragging that little plus or minus. And you can move it around wherever you want to move it to. You can also tilt it if you want to tilt it just by hitting the tilt button. 
you can move it around. So I feel like this one is really simple if you're just looking to add text. Another time, you guys, that this might be helpful for you is let's say you, um, let's say you see a pretty image of pure romance products and you literally just want to put your website on it. Like you just want to brand it with Pure Romance by Lucy or Pure Romance by Renee or Pure Romance by Cheryl. I feel like Fonto is a really quick and easy way to just brand an image without having to go crazy making graphics. So that's kind of where like my Google search skills and my branding kind of come in handy. So that way, if you don't want to make your own graphic for something and you find a cool one, you can still add your information to it. Um, Another one that's kind of helpful on here, oops, is there is a font that is called like impact label, I believe it's called. So I'm going to go to font. And what I like about impact label, have you guys ever seen images where you really like it, but they already put their damn website like right in the damn center of it? <laughs> Like, and you're like, shoot, I really want that picture, but I can't crop it because she put her freaking website right in the center of it. So what you guys can do is I use this, um, I use this font in particular to cover her website. <laughs> so because it makes the background dark, you guys can actually cover it just right over her own website. So you don't have to crop it. So that's kind of another. What's the name of this one? What was the this name is, of this font? This is Fonto, P-H-O-N-T-O. -O. I meant the, the font that you're oh, using. Oh, Im right Impact now. Label. Thank you. Yep. Yep. So I, um, I like that, yeah, it allows me to literally just slap it right over the top. And I'm like, see you later, other girl's website. <laughs> so... To me, this one is kind of a go-to in my graphics arsenal, but again, all it's doing, like that is all it is capable of doing is adding text to any of your images. And then if you want to save your image, it's just that top um, center button. So it's got the little arrow. You can save it as a JPEG or as a PNG. So we're just gonna hit save. There is ads in this one because I'm not about to pay for it. I'm sure it's only like $2. But now if I go into my gallery there is actually a fonto album that automatically gets created so you guys can kind of see you know this was a selfie that i just added you know some text to um this was one of my goal selfies that i added some text to so um it makes it you know pretty easy um my sister's birthday look at how little we were so you know it was her dirty 30 so i just added some stuff to an image um, this is also how I make my cover photo um, graphics sometimes. So this is how I add text. You guys know like in the virtual party backgrounds, we have lots of different virtual backgrounds for you. This is the app that I use to add um, text to it. Now, Jackie asked how I, how I do it on a computer. You guys, this is gonna sound really lame. I make a lot of graphics on PowerPoint, especially if I need just text or even Word. So I feel like everyone, for the most part, knows how to use Word. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm just gonna open up a blank document. We're gonna go back to the same picture. So I'm literally gonna copy this image. I'm gonna paste it into Word. Okay, and then I'm going to go to insert and then text box. Killer kid sale. Join my team. All right. You need to bring it or wrap the text so that it's in front. So just in front of text. And then under shape format, you guys have all different kinds of options. You can fill the box with different colors if you want to, or you can make it clear. You can make the outline black or pink. You can make it like scribbledy if you want to. You can center the text. Now I know not everybody is familiar with Word. So to be honest with you, if you are not familiar with Word, I wouldn't learn it just to put this on there because there's other apps that are easier. But if you are a Word user, then I feel like this, again, really easy way for you guys to do it and just add your, whoops, add your text on there. So you can do it this way as well. 
there we go. And then this is for me where that snip and sketch comes in handy. So I have it pinned to the bottom. So I literally just hit new. And then I snip and sketch it. There's my picture. So I think it really is just a matter of personal preference, whatever is easier for you. I am trying to move away from using Word <laughs> and just use my phone apps because I feel like it's so much more simple, but you can make your graphics in Word or in um, PowerPoint if you are familiar with using Word and if that's easier. So I'm gonna close that one. Okay, so Fonto is the kind of go-to. Um, another way that you guys can Oof. make Oh, yes. Before you move away from Fonto, yep. the, when you were sh sharing the gallery, yep. I can't figure out how to do that on my iPhone because that looks actually different for an iPhone because okay. um, I can never figure out how to save them in Fonto, which is part of the reason why I gave up using the app. Okay. Um, so on an iPhone, I have no idea because I you don't do. Ashley, Joe, oh. I'll um, drop some screenshots. I use this for my um, cover for my groups all the time and I use Fonto yeah. in my iPhone. So I can drop some screenshots in the event. Perfect. Thank you, because I really hate that I can't save some of the things from Fonto because I would like to be able to like, yeah. have them there for reference and it's just annoying. So cool, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks Val. And then I mean, another thing you guys, this is where to me screenshots would come in handy because you can literally just screenshot the image and then click on it and then go into your little pencil down at the bottom and crop it. And then hit save. So that's the kind of situation where I love knowing how to take a screenshot. So each phone is different on how you guys take a screenshot. So if you don't know how to do it, Google, how do I screenshot on my phone? Um, but I always feel like if I'm like, ah, like, how do I save this? I'm just like, screw it. I'm going to screenshot it and then I'm going to crop it. So I feel like you guys probably all know how to do that. If you don't let me know and I can walk you through that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that is a good question, Ashley Joe, And thank you, Val. Um, another way that you guys can make images with, um, it's not that it's easy, but it's an app that you kind of already have and that I think a lot of women don't think about for creating their graphics is, um, their, is Facebook. So you actually have a couple different ways of editing images in Facebook. Um, one of them is if you click on create a post, so you're just creating a regular post, go to photo video, we're just gonna upload, I don't know, a selfie. Okay, down in the bottom corner, there's an edit button. So if you hit that edit button, if you look at the top, you guys have the ability to tag people. You also have stickers. So stickers, that's where you can put cool things like the location, the time. You can actually put GIFs into your um, images, which I think is kind of cool. So we'll put show me some love. And then to tilt it, you literally just click on it and then swivel your two fingers to make that motion. I know you guys can't see my fingers. Here, let me stop screen sharing. <laughs> oh God, this is hard to do backwards. You kind of click, hold it like that, and then you literally just swivel it, okay? And then to drag it, you just drag it around to wherever it is that you want it to go. So I think that that's kind of fun because it, you know, makes it look fancy, right? Like it's like, oh, look at her graphic with the sparkly thing that's moving and doing, you know, pretty things. So show me some love. And this could be for whatever you wanted. This could be like, you could be holding a picture with coochie cream right? That's your selfie. Put show me some love on there and in your comment, be like, what's your absolute favorite scent or who loves this product? You know what I mean? So it kind of gives you a couple different options. We're going to go back to stickers because I feel like stickers are kind of fun. Um, this is also where you can put feelings. So if you are feeling silly or fantastic, you can put that on there. So feeling silly, show me some love. To make it bigger, you just grab it just like you did before and kind of go outwards or inwards and that'll change the 
the size. So, oh, come on, straighten out. There we go. All right, so we got feeling silly on there. Um, you also have the option of using your little avatar on there if you want to. Now, I would not put this much stuff on a graphic. Whoops. No, don't tag. Back. Okay. So you just hit the little back arrow if it gets screwed up. Oh, God, stop trying to tag me. I don't want to tag my face. All right. Another option that you guys have is adding text. So you just hit the little a, a button and you can type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna say, hey girl. And then down at the bottom, you have the little color wheel. That's gonna change the color of your font. And then you also have the A with a solid background. That will actually change whether or not it has a background to the text. So again, if you guys have an image, and you need to cover somebody's website <laughs> or you need to cover their text and you can't crop it, that's how you create a solid background. And then you can also change um, the alignment, so whether it's center and then headline. Um, this, for whatever reason, does not have any other fonts available, so can't change that one, but then you can move your, move that around wherever you want to, put it on whatever you want to. So then, what you can do is you can actually save to your phone. So saving to your phone obviously saves it to your phone or you can hit done and done will upload the image to your comment. So this is a video because of the GIF, um, because it's moving. So you could save it as a photo and then the GIF just doesn't move. Um, that's the show me some love guy. So this little video, and then you can just, say something about it, and then you can post it. So we're gonna discard it, but do you guys have any questions on using on using kind of Facebook to create images? Um, I do, um, yep. I, so I'm, I'm very much more a computer person. Have you tried yep. it on computer? Does it have all the same yep. functions? I will okay. show you that next. Oh, cool. Yep, um, another thing that I should have mentioned, you guys, is let's say you're using Facebook and you don't want to post it to Facebook, again, that's where you guys can screenshot it, right? So um, let's add a different GIF on here. Um, there we go. Now she's wagging her finger at me. Lucy's been a bad girl. If you click, oh my God, I don't, why do you keep trying to tag me? I don't want to tag. All right, you know what? I don't want to tag my damn face. Why? Sorry, guys, it doesn't usually act like this. There we go. Okay. No, go off of my face. Okay, so we're just going to hit save, but you can usually just take a screenshot. But if you save it to your phone, then again, go into your phone gallery. You should have like a, a Facebook post or a Facebook album. Obviously it doesn't save the tag, then you guys can use the image for whatever you want. It doesn't have to just be posted to Facebook. Okay. All right, on a computer, it does not have exactly the same options, but they are fairly similar. So we're gonna go to Facebook, we're gonna do the same thing. What's on your mind? Create post, photo, video. Um, I'm like, okay, let's see. We've got some headshots of you guys and snag Ashley Joes. Okay, so uploading a picture. If you hover over the photo, you have the tag option and then you have the little pencil. So you can click on edit photo. It's kind of cool because you can actually pick different filters. They're not super fancy, but they're working on it. They're trying to get a little bit better. You can hit the text button and add text. You can center it, you can go left, and then you can change the font. There's only like three fonts, which is pretty lame, but you can change the font and you can change the color. And then you can move it around to wherever you want. You drag the little arrow to tilt it or to make it bigger or smaller. 
what does alt text mean? I don't know what that means. And then there is stickers. So these stickers are different, um, but you can click on like your avatar. Um, and I don't know why mine doesn't work, but it should work. So if you have an avatar, we're gonna talk about this, you should be able to add an avatar to your picture. Um, if you hit the plus button with stickers, it's gonna take you to what they call a sticker store. And you can kind of install different like styles of stickers. So I don't, I don't even know. Let's see here. What do we got? Let's do, let's go back up. Let's do the stay proud stickers. So I'm going to click add. And then up here at the top, they show up. So we're going to do this little dude, put in this sticker, make it bigger. And you can just kind of do it that way. So it's not as good on your computer, but you can kind of do it on a computer. Okay. And then hit save. Same thing. If you want to screenshot it, you can screenshot it. That way, you know, you don't have to post it to Facebook right away. Um, or sorry, use snip and sketch, but it's not quite so good. You guys can also use your stories to make better graphics. So, oh my God, discard, discard. Go away. All right, we're going to go to the phone view. So back on Facebook, on your phone. Oh my God, get out of all of these things. Okay, if you click on create a story, some of you guys might have noticed like gals have polls like who loves coochie cream or things like that. They are using this create story option and poll. So that question, so let's say, um, who loves coochie? Yes and yes. <laughs> what you can do then is actually add backgrounds. So let's say we were doing a selfie so that it's you. You can just hold the button to move this around. You can tilt it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. And then along the side, you'll see again those different options. So same options as before. You can add a sticker. I don't know, I'm just being ridiculous, but you can add a sticker to it. You guys can add different effects to it if you wanna you know, do different, those like laughing emojis or hearts, that's what effects is. It just gives you little kind of those borders almost. And then you can tag people if you want to. You can also choose standardized backgrounds. So they do, whoops, have some color options for you. So if you didn't want to use a selfie, you can just do something like that. And then again, down at the bottom corner, you have the option to save. If you save it, then you can upload it as a post instead of sharing it to your story. So you do have a couple of different options with your Facebook story there. We're gonna discard. You can also do a boomerang. So boomerangs are kind of fun because they, they move. So if we hit boomerang, all right, let's see, we're gonna turn the camera around. We'll make one. Oh shit, no! Sorry, I got excited and I disconnected. There we go. All right, so there's my ridiculous boomerang. And we're gonna put the little, oh my God, little sticker, cause that just kind of popped up automatically cause I'm excited. And then again, you can add text. We're gonna say loving coochie. And there you go. Now you have a ridiculously obnoxious graphic that's going to get everybody's attention on Facebook. And again, you guys can save this. So we're going to go ahead and save that one. Or you can click share to story. Whoops. Okay. It actually did it. <laughs> um, can I delete the story? <laughs> that's so hilarious. So as a heads up, it is not going to ask you for confirmation. No, don't share. Stop. Okay, well, you know, that is what it is. Fuck it. So Lucy now has an uploading story where I love coochie cream with my super obnoxious boomerang. <laughs> you also can do music and you can just do regular text, mood. 
I don't even know what this does. So apparently mood is an option. Okay, I see. So thank you, grateful. And then again, you can add, you know, your text or your whatever. So I feel like this is kind of a fun area to play around in. Um, and I like that, like I said, it's free. I feel like it's relatively simple to use and it allows you to personalize it a little bit. You can have just text. Um, you can also do a selfie. So if you actually just wanna take your selfie and you can change the color tone, And then you can add your little stickers and whatever else that you guys want to add to it. Okay. Um, as of as a fun random thing, if you guys are trying to post pictures, because we are not supposed to post pictures of our products, um, of our toys on social media publicly. So using anything where you can like drop the little pictures or the little stickers over top of the photos um, is a way of kind of getting rid of toys from your social media graphics if you wanted to be able to post them um, publicly. So um, stories. Okay, another thing that- Can we yeah. post yeah. them in our VIP groups yeah. that they are over yeah. 18 and stuff? So you just can't post them publicly to Facebook because obviously then anybody that's over 18, you know, can see it. So in your Facebook groups, absolutely 110% fine. But every now and again, like I want to be able to post um, like a kit picture. Well, some of the kit pictures are, sh instead of showing the toy boxes, show the actual toys. So then you can just put one of those little stickers right over the top. Maybe a, the heart eyes one is a great one. Um, and so I love that. So it just gives you a couple of different options. Um, another thing on Facebook that you guys have the option of doing, um, you guys might've noticed like on my story, I had the little, you know, chick that looks like me saying, oh my God, um, that's called a Facebook avatar. Um, so to get to that, if you want to create those, that's kind of what we made all of the trainers create. You actually click on the little toolbars to kind of get to your menu and avatars should be there. It's going to load your little person. Um, if you don't have one yet, it's going to prompt you to design one. And then if you click on stickers, it's going to give you all of your different options. So we're going to roll with this one, kind of digging it. You guys can send these via messenger. Um, you guys can send them um, if you want to, you know, take pictures of it. Another thing that you guys can do is you can actually open it in a photo editing app. And that kind of leads me into um, the next one that I want to talk about on your phone. And that is pic collage. So things like your little Facebook people. Does anybody want me to walk through how you actually create one of these guys? Or are you good with that? Good with playing around with it. You know, after all this time, I still don't have that avatar sticker or okay. avatar ability. So, so it, I mean, it should just, so first of all, you guys should actually know that there are two different ways of doing it. The main ones were called Bitmojis and it's actually an app on your phone. It's totally separate from Facebook. Facebook was like, oh shit, who do you guys think you are making these cute little people? So they came out with Facebook avatars. So there is actually two different ways of doing it. So avatars in your options should just show up. You might have to scroll down. It might be down at the bottom. You might have to hit see more because Facebook has so much random crap. So it might be down at the bottom. And then I believe if you hit the little edit button, the little pencil, that's how you can create one. So you guys can do, you know, different skin tones, pick your skin tone, go to hair and pick your hairstyle, whatever hairstyle that you want. Oh, that one's kind of sassy. Then you can go to like face shape and change that eye color. And then when you're done, you just hit done. And then it's going to load it and it'll give you all sorts of different little options and use your avatars as comments. We're gonna skip, I'm not gonna share that to my newsfeed. So 
The stickers, again, you guys can share different ways. Also, I should show you in your comments, if you guys wanna access these, so let's say I wanted to comment on something. If you click on the little smiley face and then look at the top, you'll see your face for your avatar, then you can comment. So we're gonna laugh because I'm not really sure why her post said something about buying arms for your chickens, but that's how you guys can use your avatars on Facebook in your stories and in your comments. And I think it's just kind of fun because it's a way of personalizing it. Um, any of your graphics, you can kind of make yours because you're branding it with something other than a selfie. And I think that that's kind of a fun way of doing it. So I'm gonna back out of that. How are you guys doing? Are your brains okay? Yeah, this is great. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so another phone app that I wanna walk you guys through real quick is Pic Collage. Again, on your phone, I will talk to you guys about doing this on your computer as well, I promise. Um, so Pic Collage, I have the free version, so please just know that. Um, you'll kind of see what you can and can't do with the free version. It's not expensive if you want to pay for it, and it is worth paying for, um, 110%. So pick collage. You can do grids. Um, you can do what they call freestyle, or you can even look through already designed templates. So if you're not quite sure about designing your own graphics yet, templates is a really good place to start because um, it'll give you sort of a base design. Um, grids is where, I'm sure you've seen them before, where you can kind of take multiple photos and it'll put them in a grid for you. So it's, again, kind of a fun way of, you know, showing multiple images at once. Obviously, three is not a very good choice for grids, but it allows you to kind of play with it. Go back, go back, go back. I prefer, though, to use freestyle. So I'm just going to click on freestyle just so that I can kind of show you the different options that you have with Pic Collage. So you can use different backgrounds. So if you click on backgrounds, it'll give you all sorts of um, different colors, of different grids. You guys will see some of these are locked and you have to pay for them. So we're just gonna use, let's see. I feel like there was a polka dot one. Where did the polka dot one go? Oh, there. So this one's the different patterns. So if you click on this, it's solid colors. If you click on the second one, it'll give you some different patterns that you guys can use. do the black polka dots. All right. When you're happy with it, you just hit the little plus button. Okay. And then we're going to add some more stuff to this. So anytime you want to add something to your picture, you just hit the plus button. We are going to add a photo. And then hit the plus button up at the top. You can also connect it with your Facebook and use a Facebook photo you can also connect to Google Photos. So if you have like a Google Photos album, I don't use any of that crap. Again, it gets too fancy for me, um, but I like that you can go into your phone, find different images. So we're just gonna use, oops, nope, I only need one of them. We're gonna select it. And again, just use your fingers to make it bigger, smaller, tilt it. So we'll put that on the little background. And then again, you can add things like text. Oh, my team. Change the font color. Oops. And then change the background. This one's kind of cool because you can actually change the texture of the um, background of your font. So like you can have fancy dancy gold. And then you can change the alignment. You can also change the outline on the text. So if you wanna, you need something, like if you had two colors, let's say, that were pretty, um, pretty similar for your background and for your text color, then you can actually use the outline to almost make it look clear. So just kind of play around with this. <coughs> you have some different font options there. So I'm gonna say join my team. And you can also add stickers to this. So there are ones that you guys can pay for. There's also free ones. 
There's also my items, so any that you've purchased. So we're gonna use this starter pack and take the arrow. There we go. Okay, when you are all done, you just hit the done button and it's going to save to gallery. Now this is why I think it's worth paying for. You'll notice in this little itty bitty version down at the bottom, it says pick collage. If you do not pay for it, it is gonna say pick collage on all of your images. That's how they kind of make their money, right? It's, it's their opportunity for free advertising. So if you wanna remove the watermark and the ads, that's where it's gonna prompt you to pay for um, removing it. So it's $2, you guys. That is 110% worth doing so that it never says pick collage on your images. It just looks more professional if it's not on there. You can also save it again to your gallery or if you know you wanna post it straight to Instagram or straight to Facebook, or if you wanna send it to somebody, you can actually click on Facebook. Ooh, tweaking out, there we go. Don't know why that didn't work, but. There we go, there it is. So now it automatically uploads to my Facebook. So you guys can just instantly post it, which I think makes it easier. And then let's say, this is where you can kind of have fun with it, you guys. And the more familiar that you get with what you can do in what app, the better. Because there's some things, like there might be some stickers that aren't available in Pic Collage that you know that you love. So then you can go into your Facebook and hit the edit button and add your little emoji if you wanted to, or add a, a different sticker. So I know that that starts to get a little bit complicated, but if you can just remember that you have all of these tools at your disposal, you can use more than once, uh, more than one at a time. So we're gonna go back into pick collage here back into freestyle. I also wanted to show you web image. This is freaking cool. So if we type in join my team and hit search, it's actually gonna search online. This is still in pick collage, right? This is still pick collage. Yep, so I'm like, ooh, perfect. This image is cool. It's a web image, so I'm gonna select it and then hit the top corner and it's gonna make it small but you can make it as big as you want to. Oh, there we go. And then same thing, you guys can add stickers to this. You guys can add text to this. So let's say you did wanna add your website. You guys can add your website to it. You can doodle on it if you want to. Like I don't, sometimes it's fun. Like again, it just looks more kind of you or more real, you hit the undo button. So just kind of play around. Um, trying to think if there's any other backgrounds. Um, oh, I guess we already kind of did backgrounds sizes. So one to one um, is kind of the correct background size for a Facebook post. That's what makes it square. So that's something you guys may want to, you know, know how to do. So for the backgrounds, I just put size one to one. That way when I save this image, it's going to save it as a square. Um, and you can see kind of there that my template is actually square. Do you guys see that? So instead of having that larger background, then I know that this is gonna give me a square image. Okay, gonna hit done. All right, save it to my gallery. Oh, stop, close. All right. You can also screenshot if you guys wanna screenshot. Go away, I don't wanna leave a review. All right, so another thing um, that you guys can do with Pic Collage is where I was talking about your avatar. So let's say you're like, man, I really like my avatar, but I can't quite get it to do what I want it to do. We're gonna go into stickers, we're gonna pick one. Like, to be honest with you, I can't, some of these 
on the Facebook edit option don't show up as options. And sometimes I want to use different ones. So what you could do, let's say one of you had a kick out Tatiana, right? Just rocked out her very first in-person party. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to make her a celebration image, right? So I'm going to pick on my champagne one and I'm going to click more options. These are both the pick collage icons. So I'm going to hit freestyle. That's the freestyle design section. And my little dude is going to pop up. I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm going to find a background. Let's do a black one. I'm going to make it square. I'm going to add some text. We're going to make it white. And again, all sorts of fun, different fonts and that kind of thing that you guys can do and use. Ooh, satisfaction is fancy. Those look horrible though, because I decided to do it all in capital letters, but that's okay. Take away. All right, so, oops, there we go. And if you click off the screen, then that kind of background goes away. So if you guys like the idea of using your avatar, so this is one way that you can kind of pull it out of Facebook land and put it on whatever the heck you guys want to. So I think it's kind of fun. Um, I also like that you could add an image. So like if I wanted to, I wonder if this, I wonder if this works, we're going to get creepy with it. No, <laughs> I was like, maybe Google will be super creepy and I'll pick, pull up a picture of her. But let's say I had saved a picture to my phone of her. We're gonna use mine because it's there. Put her picture on it, right? So again, it's just kind of fun, allows you guys to personalize as you want to. Um, yeah, so done, done, and done trying to think if there's any other phone apps that I feel like are super, super important. I feel like that covers the main ones um, because it really does allow you to kind of create whatever you guys want. There are obviously more phone apps than this. I can't, um, I can't, you know, I can't learn them all. I don't think you should learn them all. And I feel like pick collage on your phone is really, really easy. And I do really like how it links to Facebook. So two things like your avatars. Um, so kind of, I feel like if you can get used to Facebook stories and if you can get used to pick collage, then that's a really great one. Um, I also kind of like that you can use, the, like I said, there's already pre-made templates for you. So if you want to make maybe a more, slightly more professional ones, um, then you guys can kind of do that. So any questions on like phone, phone apps or any of that stuff so far? I'm going to drink some coffee real quick. Okay. Your next option is some of your computer options. Um, I, I love Canva, you guys. That's what I have switched to using. Um, I do have the paid version, so please just know that not everything that I show you, um, you might not be able to do all of it from the free version, but to me, it's worth the $10 a month. So I'm just gonna screen share again. I'm gonna move my phone out of the way. I believe that Canva also has a phone app. I've just never used it. So I feel like pick collage is pretty easy, but if you're a Canva lover, then use Canva. I've just, to be honest, I haven't played with a lot of the phone apps because I'm a computer girl. So this is kind of my jam. Um, but when you go to canva.com and you have logged in, you can go to different templates. So they even have things like invitations, website, posters, lesson plans, Zoom backgrounds, like there's so many different things that you guys can design. Um, there's also all of those different types of templates. I always just go straight to create a design and I go to Facebook post. So it's kind of, it's almost square. 
And then over here on the side, if you guys want an already pre-made template, they have 10,000 gazillion templates for you. You can also search templates. So if you're doing something kind of lovey-dovey, you can do that. If it's Mother's Day, you could type in Mother's Day. Um, if it's Valentine's Day, you can type in Valentine's Day and it's gonna give you all sorts of different templates that you guys can use. And then you can edit these. So if you click on it, then you can type it. Say join my team this spring. I don't know, I'm just making shit up. But so you guys can edit the templates as much as you kind of want to. Now, I'm, I like to start from scratch, right? So for me, I'm like, I want to be able to do all the things, take complete control, and I wanna show you guys all of the really cool things that this allows you to do. So you can upload photos. Um, you can actually use stock photos if you want to. So there's all sorts of different images that you guys can go through and pick. You can also use multiple images if you want to, not that those two go together, but you can do them together if you want, and you can kind of create your own. Create your own like kind of grid. So I like that you can do that. You can create your own grid image just by clicking on it. Um, this was actually one that I saw somebody did with Coochie. I actually thought that it was her picture. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was a Canva photo. So this would be a great one. And then what you can do is you can click Uploads. Okay, so I was playing around with it. So Stacy's face is on here. We're gonna upload an image. If you guys have Dropbox installed and you have a current team folder, if you guys click on Pictures and then Product Picks, and then all products, no background. Let's say Coco Glow. We wanna make a little Coco Glow ad. Click on Coco Glow. I made these for you guys for a reason. It's because they do not have backgrounds, which means if you have a stock photo like this, I'm gonna grab my Coco Glow and I'm gonna drag it over here. Oops, it got rid of my other one. Back, 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 back. There we go. So drag it off of the photo. Position, you can move it in front, you can move it behind, but see there's no background. So you guys can plop your product right on the top. Then we can add text. So with these, I love, one of the, my favorite things with Canva is that it gives you um, it gives you different font options or different font kind of designs that has like multiple different fonts. So like this one gives you two fonts. So you could say like Coco Glow. Who needs this? And it gives you the two different options. You can also change the color of your font. And I love that it'll take document colors, so it'll kind of take different colors from your different pictures. This is not a very good background because it doesn't make it very clear. But you guys can just kind of see all the different sorts of things that you guys can do. So those are a few of the options there. Um, let me see, let me delete some of this. To delete, you'll literally click on it, hit the delete button on your keyboard, so it's really, really simple. You can also add what's called elements. So elements also has stickers. So like there's a little arrow. I'm gonna get rid of this black background so you guys can kind of see. So little flashing arrow right towards your Cocoa Glow. So you can add fun stuff in Canva as well. You can add, um, let's see, what else have we got here? We got a, Thumbs up, little emoji dude. Got little sparkly stars. So all sorts of crap that you can play around with, have fun with to kind of, again, I feel like anything that moves catches people's attention on social media. Um, so I feel like it's nice to be able to have that option. If you guys have a hashtag for your business, this is kind of fun. Whoops. 
to put in front of your hashtag? So um, let's see. Okay. So those are some of the elements. Another element that I um, really like, let me just find a, let me just do a plain background on here real quick. All right. So one of the other things that I really like are these frames. Um, one of the things to know in Canva, if it has this like, oh God, I don't even know what to call that. Like the photo background, it's kind of that like standard image picture. That means that you guys can upload your own photo there. So like shapes are just gray or black, so you can make those whatever color you want to, but frames and grids, any of those with that photo in the background means that you can add your own image to it. So I'm gonna, let's see. Um, let's do this guy. I'm gonna go to Google. And I'm going to find a pretty sparkly gold background. Okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to drag it over that frame. Do you guys see now how they're like this, just this one is highlighted. When I drag it over, they're both highlighted. Okay, and then I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna take the shape of my frame. Now I want my Cocoa Glow to be in the front, so I'm gonna go to position and we're gonna go forward. Oops, there we go. I'm gonna make it big. And I'm gonna use my arrow key because I don't want it to, <laughs> to highlight both of them. So it's kind of a fun way like to show things off. Um, it just adds an extra little, I don't know, it just adds an extra little pop. Another thing, maybe you are wanting to do a selfie, but maybe make it look a little bit different. Um, let's add in, let's do the circle frame. Um, you can, oh, hi, Kitty. So nice of you to join me. Where is, okay, so we can go to uploads again. So let's say I uploaded my photo or I wanted to do a super pretty photo of Stacy. Again, just drag it right on top. So it's kind of cool because you can change this, the kind of shape of the picture. And I think that that's, that's kind of fun. So let's see, what else can we do? Um, elements um, on top of the frames. There's like, I don't know, there's cute little heart frames. So I want, I'm going to put Stacy in a little heart. So you can do all sorts of things. And I'm like, nope, just kidding. I want it to be gold and sparkly. I can have a gold and sparkly heart. So do not, you guys, if you're not careful, you'll spend 10,000 hours making a graphic. So I should probably just <laughs> disclaimer on that one. Um, you can also add videos. So I think that that's kind of cool. And a lot of these, because again, I have the pro version, these are free, um, but I could put a video in the background, um, which is kind of neat. So this could be like a Coco Glow, like who wants to escape to the beach this summer? And I can put my little, my Coco Glow upload onto there. Like how cool is that, right? Like, and you could put like, you know, who who's rocking a badass tan at the beach. So again, I just think that it's neat that you have all sorts of different options. And I believe that if you put in a frame that you can actually put a video into the frame. So you could have just a little moving video kind of in the corner so like it, this has so many jackie is your brain exploding yes yes i'm like sitting here like Whoa! i'm so excited right yeah now. like it's and i feel like you guys this is not that hard like you drag the shit and you drop it here's another thing like let's say i'm like oh my god i love my video so much and then i accidentally drag that and i'm like fuck 
my video's gone. Up here in the top corner, there's a little arrow. Do not panic. It is the undo button. <laughs> so I do that a lot where I'm like, oh my God. Um, and I kind of freak out. So, but again, like I, I just think that this is really fun. You can also upload your own videos. So I think that that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, like, let's see, do we have, there's a fun, I don't know, kind of tropics. Like, like I said, this is just all totally random. I'm just kind of dicking off to show you guys the sort of stuff that you can do. Um, you can also select um, like regular kind of backgrounds. Also too, you guys can search like pineapples, so dumb. Pineapples are super in right now. Type in pineapple, boom, there you have it. There's a super cute little pineapple background, right? Um, you can also type in, um, let's say flowers and it'll show you all of the beautiful floral backgrounds that we have available. Um, I mean, yeah, all kinds of really pretty things. One of my favorite things about Canva is I feel like the images that they make available to you are just really cool. Um, and they have a lot of options. Now, another thing that you guys can do as soon as I click on an image, you have flip, crop, adjust, filter, and effects. So I haven't played around with this a ton, um, but there is different kind of effects that you can actually apply to your image. Filter is one that I do like to use because maybe this photo is just way too bright and I want them to be able to really see what I write on there. You can actually pick different filters and you can change or reduce the intensity of your image. So it doesn't, you can make it grayscale if you wanna make it black and white. You can make it crazy, obnoxiously vibrant if you want to. Um, you can also change the, um, like you can make it a vignette, which makes the sides highlighted. You can change the color saturation. Like, I feel like this gets into pretty hardcore photo editing, which I think is, you know, kind of neat. You can crop it, you can flip it, you can kind of do all of the things. I have no idea what folders means. Oh, it's all of your kind of stuff. And I've never clicked on the more button. So, oh, you can drop emojis. Who knew? I didn't know that. All right, so I was saying that you could use the edit button in Facebook. You guys can drop emojis in here. Also too, okay, Bitmoji. So Bitmoji was the original, right, like avatar. So if you guys have, oh God, what's my Bitmoji login? Oh, I don't wanna log into Snapchat. All right, well, I wonder. That's the login is Snapchat and that's where it was developed into. Okay, all right, well, I'd have to mess around with it. I don't, I'm like, I don't have Snapchat, but I have the Bitmoji app. So I don't know. Anyway, you guys can play around with that. Add bitmojis if you guys want to. So that's something I'm going to play around with because I think that that's fun. Um, and yeah, I mean, all sorts of crap that you guys can kind of add. You guys can also add GIFs. So that's what Giphy is, is it's kind of the main like GIF thing. So we're going to add Padma Lakshmi because I love me some Padma. So... You can do whatever you guys want. So we're gonna add our Coco Glow to Padma. And then we're gonna add some text. Kitty, I really need you to quit walking across me here. Oops. Ah. Undo, undo. And we're gonna say, you need this. And we're gonna move it and put it up at the top. And we have Padma <laughs> telling the world that they need to have Coco Glow in their life. So yeah, so this is Canva, you guys. I feel like, again, play around with it, have fun with it. And then once you are ready, so you can do this a couple different ways. I like, again, I, I take screenshots of, or snip and sketches of everything. So you can snip and sketch it. You can hit the share button. 
So I have, um, you could have this linked to um, your email. You can have it linked to other things. The little arrow downwards is the save, is or the download button. So you guys can choose how you download this. So even though this is a um, video, you can save it as a video or you can actually save it as an image. So if you don't care whether or not it moves, um, then you can just save it as an image. You can also save it as a GIF. So GIFs are short clips. Obviously we can use GIFs and memes on Facebook. So GIFs are a great way of uploading those really short clips. So you can actually make your own GIFs with this. How fun you guys would it be if you spent a couple minutes we have so many business bait, like business sayings and that kind of thing. Um, like if you had your own GIF that was like, you need this. So somebody's being sassy with you or whatever. You have a freaking saved GIF on your phone where you're just dropping that in her comments. <laughs> or like, you guys know I say all the time, like, I got you, boo. So I say it to you guys. I say it to my customers. I save it to all of whatever. Make yourself a little GIF right? That says something like, I got you, boo. And you can post that in comments when people say things, or it's all just part of kind of branding yourself. And I think that that's, I think that that's important. And I think it's just a really cool thing because it makes you more visible, right? And again, it makes you more you. Women do not forget that I am their pure romance consultant, right? But I also don't talk about, I mean, I do talk about my business a lot. I do this full time, but I also don't talk about it a ton, but women know what I do because they see my face all the time. They see my stuff all the time. And when they see me, they think pure romance. So if you can do a couple little things that really brand you even outside of pure romance that you can be dropping it, excuse me, I got the hiccups. It, <laughs> It puts pure romance into their minds. So I, I love me some Canva, you guys. I feel like Canva is an absolute lifesaver, but yeah, so I love that you can do GIFs, you can do JPEGs. You can also just publish straight to Facebook um, and onto your Facebook pages. I typically save it and then um, upload it. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, with Canva, the other thing that I like is if you go to all of your designs, you can see everything else um, that you have designed in Canva. So you guys can see, you know, some of my images, some of my cover photos, um, some of the things that I've, you know, I've made um, in here. There's not a ton of them because I usually just screenshot them. Um, but yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like Canva is, a, is probably my favorite way to design really professional looking images. Um, you can also, and do can I just say something real quick, Lucy? Yeah. <clears throat> one of the things that I like about Canva is like, say like the, the one that you just made that was for coochie or whatever. Like the cool thing is, is even if you save it, you can go back and edit it later yeah. and put in a different product and use that same picture. And it's like already there for you as a template. Yeah. A hundred. Yeah. A hundred percent. So yeah, if you guys are doing like a sale or something like that, and you're like, I really want to have a similar background for all of my sale images. Like Brandy said, all you've got to do is swap out that image. So I, I feel like it allows you guys. Yes, Jackie. Oh, okay. nothing. I was just saying, I was just saying to myself, yes, that's what I need right now is since I'm creating my flash sale. So yeah. Thank you. So, so she's absolutely right. You guys can swap that one image out. So I feel like the other cool thing about Canva is that Canva offers something called Canva Design School. So if you feel like you don't have a really good handle on actually creating maybe aesthetically pleasing images, uh, that might be something worth kind of considering. I do want to talk to you guys though about some things that you can do to make your graphics actually look good. Because it's one thing to know how to make them and then it's another thing completely to make sure that they actually look, um, they actually look nice um, and they look clean. So the first one, and I also like with Canva that they do, it kind of automatically helps with a lot of those things. So number one kind of design tip for you guys um, is you, you want to have like a clear, a clear focal point. What is it that you want them to look at? Um, what is it that you're trying to get their attention drawn to? Just knowing that I, I find helpful. So 
then anything that else that's kind of going on there, right? Like whether it be a bitmoji or a sticker or a text or a font, it should all be supporting to whatever your main focal point is. Um, and the focal point can be different, right? Depending. So like as an example, let's say you wanted to promote Coco Glow. You can either choose to promote the product, in which case that's the focal point, or you could make the beautiful beach the focal point so that women see that and go, oh my God, I want to go to the beach, right? And then you mention Coco Glow and they're like, oh shit, a tan. Yeah, that would be good at the beach. So the focal point is not actually Coco Glow. The focal point is the beach. And then the Coco Glow is then kind of supporting it. So think about what you're actually trying to say with your graphics and with your images. Um, and this is something that with practice is gonna get easier. I, it's not actually something that I consciously think about doing anymore. Um, but when I'm kind of getting creative and having fun, I feel like making sure that you know where it is that you actually want people to look is important. Um, another thing you guys is that they do need to be clear and they need to be easy to read. So that's kind of where having like the font backgrounds can come in handy. Sometimes just putting font on an image is really overwhelming. Like if the background image is really busy, it has to be easy to read. Unless you are deliberately putting like your website down at the bottom kind of on the DL. So just be aware of that, especially if someone is looking at it on their phone, right? You've got to remember it's going to be this big. If that font is too hard to read or if, you know, it's a really similar color, then you might want to tweak that and change that. Um, you also want to have balance in your images um, and check your alignment, okay? Like things need to be deliberate. So as an example, let's see if I can kind of go to my screen sharing here. Um, as an example, like if you're going to do something like this, right? You want to make sure that it is either deliberately in one corner, <laughs> deliberately at the bottom, or like deliberately centered. Okay, because if it's if it's just kind of like chilling in a at a weird angle, it just doesn't. Okay, this font doesn't help that much, but it just doesn't quite look right. So be aware of where you're putting it and try to make it look deliberate. If you want everything to be on the left, put everything on the left. If you want everything on the right, put everything on the right. Is it balanced across the board? Right. So let me see if I can pull up maybe some of mine. Um, as some examples here. So like this one, the alignment is way off, right? Like this is not, this is not a well-balanced picture. My text is tiny. My image is just kind of sitting there chilling. Um, it's, it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's not the way that I would necessarily want to balance the image. Whereas if you change it around just a little bit. God, this video of Padma is actually like hideous. So this is probably not the best example, but we can kind of change the balance a little. So it, please excuse the fact that this is obviously hideous, but do you see how this is maybe a little bit more in balance than the way that it was before? right? So it kind of flows a little bit better. Um, things like this, these are balanced, right? Because it's equal across the board. It's dimensionally kind of the same. It's centered on purpose. Uh, this one, again, same thing. Like this one has really good alignment. Also too, I'm going to use their templates as examples because that makes it easier. Everything is aligned on one side right? Um, with this one, this one's really balanced because they actually put text all the way around it. So you could also remove, if you remove one of those, now it's wonky, right? Like now you've got this random ass blank space. So remove the other one and all of a sudden now you're balanced because you've got them at the top at the bottom. Or you can do both sides, but again, it's balanced. So aesthetically, it just looks nicer. So just kind of keep balance in mind. Um, and it can, it can be all sorts of different places, right? Like it doesn't have to all be on one side or whatever it may be, but I just think it's something to kind of be aware of. This one, top and bottom, centered. So that's one of my favorite things about having these already accessible to you is that you can kind of play around with it. All right, 
Another thing that Canva does really, really well to keep in mind if you guys are using other apps, contrasting fonts is super in right now. So using two or three different fonts in your image that contrast against each other. So here's another example. You've got a fun, pretty font and you've got a more basic font at the bottom. Whatever you really want them to pay attention to, that's your bigger, your bolder, and your funner font. And then more of the informational stuff is going to be your, your smaller font. This is kind of your info, right? So if you're doing a big Cocoa Glow image, let me delete all this stuff real quick. Ah. All right, let me go to create a new one. I'm just gonna go to the text here so we can kind of look at it again. One of my favorite things, like I said about Canva, is it actually gives you the different fonts. Cue the confetti, I feel like is a great one because it's a fun, oh shit. It's a really fun cursive with a more basic font. So this is a really good one, like if, if you wanna highlight, the cocoa glow, right? Because even though your brain is reading it, you need cocoa glow, what you're actually seeing subconsciously is cocoa glow, <laughs> right? So use different contrasting fonts. So this is one of those things that you guys can do pretty easily. You also wanna make sure that you're using matching colors. So either use colors that blend well together or use colors that are totally opposite. So I feel like sometimes we almost try to be too matchy matchy and we need a pop of a color that's totally random. That's going to draw their attention to it. If you are not trying to draw their attention to it, that's where you want to kind of stick to the same colors so that they're balanced um, and it kind of creates harmony. So I feel like that's another way that you guys can play, play around with it. Um, we already talked about grids for your images. So like Canva, you can do grids and then also pick collage. You guys can do grids, um, transparent images. Obviously we talked about that. That's a great one. So just being able to put anything that you want onto kind of anything else. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, this one's kind of an interesting one. I'm going to see if I can show you guys an example of this. One of the image mistakes that I see a lot is let's say you have a picture mm, of like mountains. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. I should have had an example of this one ready for you guys. I did fuck up. My helpful husband's like, you fucked it up. <laughs> so one of the things that I kind of see a lot is, let's say you have this image I'm gonna send that to the back. We're gonna make this white. This is not an awesome example, but I hope it'll show you guys kind of what I mean. So the cocoa glow is kind of right over the top of the entire image, but consider resizing it so that it actually kind of fits in the center. So instead of being over top of the whole thing, like, um, you can actually frame your text a little bit better by moving the image and changing the size around. Um, so I feel like that's, that's something else. It's just kind of a general, general design tip. Like I said, that was not kind of the greatest example of that, but I don't really see any that would be better. Okay. So this would be one that might be better. So it's right on the top right? Just kind of all over it, dead center, versus if you pull it out, you can actually have it so that it's kind of nicely up at the top instead of boom, right on top of the image. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm like, I am not a graphic design teacher by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I should also mention, you guys, for the love of God, you do not have to put pure romance on anything and everything. 
Okay? It does not all have to be branded. In fact, I don't think you want everything to be branded. I think that it's important that some of it is not business related. Um, also too, don't forget, we are not allowed to put the Pure Romance logo on our own designs unless they are approved by corporate. Okay, so do not be put in the Pure Romance heart all over everything. It is not actually your logo to use. It is corporate's logo. So the only one that we are allowed to use is the one that is made for us. Um, I believe you can access it on the training website and I believe you can also access it through the media center. You can make your own logo, but it's basically the one that says Pure, has the heart and then Romance by your name. That is the only one that you guys actually have um, permission to use. I also think that your picture should kind of reflect you and reflect who you are, right? So start to kind of just start to play with it. But if you guys are not like super bright, super bold, um, you know, crazy and all over the place, like don't have crazy bitmojis, like doing, you know, dumb, crazy things. So make sure that they feel like you. Um, if you can avoid it, try not to make it too busy unless it's busy on purpose. So sometimes busy is a great way of getting people's attention. Um, but if you're trying to get them to actually do something specific, keep it simple. You guys might notice like Facebook stories are way busier because they're trying to catch your attention versus like a pick, pick a number, right? Booking post where it is a clear background with four individual photos that are nicely aligned and grouped together really clear in the center. Does that make sense to kind of this idea of know when to make it busy and know when not to. Um, okay. So I feel like that's everything that I wanted to cover on this one. Cause I feel like that was a lot. <laughs> um, do any of you have any specific questions though on how to do certain things? Um, on certain apps, on when to use graphics, what to use graphics. Yeah, do you guys have any graphics related questions or things that I can show you? Like, hell no, my brain's exploding. Was this helpful? Like, is this kind of what you guys were looking for? Okay, like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so the replay will be available for you. I'm sorry, like I said, I'm a little bit all over the place because one of the things for me, I will tell you guys that when you get used to making your own graphics, it very much becomes second nature. I never really thought about what I did before. I just kind of click around and play with it and figure it out. Um, but like I said, my, my go-to now is definitely pick collage on my phone. But for me, because I'm a computer girl, it's Canva. I almost do everything exclusively in there. I love that I can find photos, I can find images, but I can also just copy paste straight from Google. Um, I can upload from my computer. Like I, I feel like it just makes it super easy. Um, I haven't played with the Canva app on my phone because like I said, why would I? I, I prefer a computer, but yeah. So um, I hope that that helps. Um, if you guys don't have any questions, then I will let you guys go and I will post the replay to the group um, as soon as I can get it uploaded for you guys. So thanks so much for spending Sunday morning all day with me <laughs> so that I can show you guys how to rock that out. Okay. Ashley Joe, do you have anything that I should add? I don't know if she's there. I'm here. Okay. Anything um, you can think of that I should add? The only thing that I can think of is there's only one other app that I'm absolutely in love with and I can't believe I forgot to tell you. Um, I, when I'm making collages, sorry, my phone's going to die. When I'm making collages and I want to have a layout that's not, that I need to edit drastically, um, Insta layout is a perfect app for that. Okay. And I think you can add up to like 10 photos to your collage with a uh, layout with it's a Insta, it's an Instagram app, app, but you don't have to have Instagram to use it. Boomerang also. Yeah. 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 I feel like Boomerang is so linked to every, like you can just download. I did that in my story. It was the thing that made me go all crazy, but you guys can actually just install Boomerang straight on your phone. Yeah. You don't have to have in, uh, Instagram to do either no. one of those. No. Yep. So, but I like that they linked it to the Facebook stories too. So you can yeah. do it that way if you prefer, um, and then just save it to your phone. So. But yeah, Insta layout, that's cool. So I'm going to take a look at that one. 
Um, another thing that you guys can do in Canva is actually create templates and then share the actual templates with other people. Um, you can also, if you get really fancy with it, actually create documents in Canva. So like the wish list that we have, um, that really pretty wish list that we have now, some women do in Canva. So um, I can upload, a, I will upload a separate training on how to do that. Monica Shanks was the awesome badass that showed me how to do that. Um, and we actually kind of took, because I had my original wish list. She kind of took that and then made it her pretty Canva style. And then I took it back and put it the pretty Canva style into Excel because that was what I knew how to use. Um, but you can edit it in Canva as well. So if you don't want to, you know, do stuff in Word and you want to make really pretty actual documents and flyers, that is all something that you guys can do in Canva as well. So to me, I'm like Canva would kind of be my my number one go-to if you did really want to get into and kind of dig into graphics. So I will share um, that template with you guys. Let me write that down. I was going to say or ask, does she just take like the whole Excel spreadsheet that you use and then just drop it in there? Can you well, do that? So sort of. Here, let me see if I can actually find it. Um, All right. So no, that's you're totally fine. Um, what she does is I know like there is what I like about the Excel version is that you guys have the ability to have the master list with all the photos in there. But with the Canva, because you guys already have all of the images saved in that current team folder, that's where you, she basically pulls the images from. Okay. But let me see if I can find it. It might have been in Destination Success. Is that no longer a thing? I tried to find it yesterday. Facebook shut it down again. Rude. What? I honestly have a feeling that the social seller road to success is, is the, like the, the new, new destination. destination success. Yeah, I was looking for an older video that Monique McGuire that before and I wanted to look at it again and I couldn't find Shoot it. Give her a message. Yeah. Or go on her YouTube. Yeah. She has a YouTube? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. I need She's to get on that. Videos up there on YouTube. I love her stuff or product info. Yeah, it's it's really really cool. Okay, um, Renee, I can't currently find it. I'm gonna message Monica. I will get the template, and what I'll do is I will include the link in the post. Okay, thank okay. you. I appreciate that. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys, I'm gonna go because otherwise I'm gonna keep talking to you guys for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I will chat at you guys soon. Have a badass Sunday. Love all of your faces and thanks for joining me.